What's good my Dexas? we back with another BTS reaction. I'm super excited to check out this because this is probably one of the most spoken about speeches there is in the K history of K-pop, period, period, bro. This is BTS speech at the United Nations UNICEF. Now, I do believe this is RM who is going to deliver this speech. Now, I don't know what he's going to address. I heard like short parts of it, like I watched... um. Uh, I think it was Rise of Bangtan. I watched compilations and stuff, and they always bring this up, but I haven't seen the full speech yet, so I'm super excited to check it out. Without any further ado, let's go. Real quick, I just do want to mention, I just started with BTS in the soup over my Patreon, if you're interested in that, as well as the whole BTS Bon Voyage season one up until four is on there, as well as a lot of K-drama. So if you want to have some more exclusive content and have fun with me around there, check out my Patreon, link in the description below. As well, send me your favorite BTS memes, reels, funny compilations over on Instagram. I would appreciate that. Without any further ado, let's get into the speech of BTS. Also, if you do want to hit that subscribe button and you like my content, it's free. Do it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, it will support me. As well, please, I'm begging you, let me know what I should check out next from BTS. I will be doing the Mamas with Kyle as soon as I meet up with him, so I'm going to continue with the Mamas with him. I'll do the MMAs, if you guys want me to do the MMAs from 2016 up until now, I'll do those on my own. I can also do their new album or newer album. I've completed a few, like most of their albums and there's still a few I need to go through, but I'm still holding on to those albums. You guys can literally let me know any content you want from BTS and you'll get it. Literally anything you want in the comment section below without any further ado. Let's get it. Now, I just hope I don't cry, bro, because this shit's serious. This is at the UNICEF, bro. UNICEF Executive Director and all the excellencies and distinguished guests from across the world. Damn, okay. My Whoa. name is Kim Namjoon, also known as RM the lead up to group BTS. It is an incredible honor to be invited to an occasion with such significance for today's young generation. Last November, BTS launched the Love Myself campaign with UNICEF, building on our belief that true love first begins with loving myself. We've been partnering with UNICEF's End Violence program to protect children and young people all over the world from violence. And our fans have become a major part of this campaign with their action and with their enthusiasm. We truly have the best fans in the world. Oh, come on, bro. And I like Damn, I'm sorry, just because he had a break, I need to say something, bro. This man knows how to grab my attention, bro. I haven't focused to someone speaking for so long with so much attention. Bro, the way he pronunciates and addresses himself and he brings himself forward. I don't know, bro. This just this guy is supposed to be the leader of a country. I swear, bro. I, I I've said this countless of times. If BTS like makes a country and they are like the presidents and the and the government and everything, and army moves to that country, I, I mean the, the the whole country is gonna be blessed, right? It's gonna be so nice. We continue. We continue. With their action and with their enthusiasm, we truly have the best fans in the world. Never fails to address army too, bro. Never fails. And I like to begin by talking about myself. I was born in Ilsan, a city in your soul, South Korea. It is a really beautiful place with a lake, hills, and even an annual flower festival. I spent a very happy childhood there, and I was just an ordinary boy. I used to look up at the night sky and wonder, and I used to dream the dreams of a boy. I used to imagine that I was a superhero who could save the world. And in an intro to one of our early albums, there is a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or 10. Looking back, I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and starting seeing myself through their eyes. Mm, fuck. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars. I stopped daydreaming. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. Soon, I began to shut out my own voice and started to listen to the voices of others. No one called out my name, and neither did I. My heart stopped and my eyes closed shut. So, like this, I, we, all lost our names. We became like ghosts. But I had one century, and that was music. There was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up, man, and listen to yourself. 
But it took me quite a long time to hear music calling my real name. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. And sometimes I just wanted to quit. But I think I was very lucky that I didn't give it all up. And I'm sure that I and we will keep stumbling and falling like this. BTS has become artists performing in those huge stadiums and selling millions of albums right now, but I am still an ordinary 24-year-old guy. If there's anything that wow, I've achieved, man. it was only possible that I have my other BTS members right by my side, and because of the love and the support that our ARMY fans all over the world made for us. And maybe I made a mistake yesterday, but yesterday's me is still me. Amen, bro. Today, I am who I oh. am with all of my faults and my mistakes. This reminds me of an Instagram reel I saw. He was talking about, like, don't be sad about your mistakes you made in the past. Don't dwell about the past. Like, just think about the present and how you're going to influence that to make a better future. And like, this man, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. You know how, how relatable. Do you know what I like? Okay, okay. Let me just speak my shit real quick. The thing I like about BTS, especially RM now speaking now, they are so relatable yet they live entirely different lives than us, right? Like they're K-pop idols, they're celebrities, millionaires, truly successful in everything they do. But they are just as ordinary as we are, right? Like we're all the same, we're all human, we bleed the same, we think the same, we have the same struggles. And he keeps relating it and keeping it, um, how can I say, relatable for the fans and the army and everything around them, saying that your life and our life are like basically the same. Like we can all dream these things and we can all have the same struggles and hurdles and, and come across them and basically become successful at the end of the day so that's really beautiful that's what i got so far that's what i got so far and maybe i made a mistake yesterday but yesterday's me is still me today i am who i am with all of my faults and my mistakes tomorrow i might be a tiny bit wiser and that would be me too. These faults and mistakes are what I am, making up the brightest stars in the constellation of my life. I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was, and for who I hope to become. I'd like to say the one last thing. After releasing our Love Yourself albums, and launching the Love Myself campaign, we started to hear remarkable stories from our fans all over the world, how our message helped them overcome their hardships in life and start loving themselves. Those stories constantly remind us of our responsibility. So let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself shit that's iconic <laughs> this part is iconic which is gonna say now oh this is so, so iconic now, shit that I gave me cool. you speak yourself that gave me cool spam. shit that's so iconic i like to ask all of you what is your name what excites you and makes your heart beat tell me your story i want to hear your voice i want to want to hear your conviction no matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. I'm Kim Nam Jun and also RM of BTS. I'm an idol and I'm an artist from a small town in Korea. Like most people, I've made many and plenty mistakes in my life. I have many faults and I have many more fears, but I'm gonna embrace myself as hard as I can. And I'm starting to love myself gradually, just little by little. What is your name? Speak yourself. 
Thank you very much. Wow, bro. Yo, bro, RM is like an inspiration to me. So, like, since I reacted to BTS, bro, like, I don't know. Like, the first music video I watched, I snapped on this guy, bro. I, I, like, I remember when I reacted to BTS, I don't know nothing about these guys. Something about RM, bro, like, my eyes automatically, like, he wouldn't even be rapping or singing or, or doing anything or dancing. I would just snap on this guy. And I'm like, bro, this guy, I feel like this guy is such a, he inspires me, bro. Like, his passion rubs off on me you know like whenever he speaks whenever he does something i just feel like bro if if i'm around him i'll grow so much more like it's like a big brother to me you know like i love it so much and i appreciate him taking the the whole ass like confidence to speak at this big ass platform unicef in a language he's not even fluent in but he's like doing his best and he did it so well bro with these members and how he kept bringing up his fans, he kept on bringing army, he kept on bringing the members as they always do in everything they do. Like it's so constant, consistent with BTS. So I really did appreciate that. This speech was actually amazing, bro. Beautiful. I can't wait to continue. You guys can let me know what I should check out next. And thank you to everyone who has suggested me to watch this. I do appreciate you. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Safe.